And it's Lee here from Boother Tools, your one-stop photo booth place, YouTube channel, you know, that kind of stuff. Today I'm going over a photo booth and I run into lots of trouble. Let's get into it. What's up guys? Today we're just getting a photo booth ready. So popped one of these bad boys up. What's that? You want to know how they work? Come on, you know this. Anyways, I'll show you anyways. Here's the functionality of the booth. The guest just walks up to the booth and they click, they click photo and it takes four photos of them. So it's gonna shoot. Four photos. Okay, so once the session's done, all that your guest does is they click SMS and it will text the photos to them. So I'll put my phone number in here and it sends to them. Now that we're up to speed, we may proceed. Are you making another video? You don't get it. My YouTube friends will get it. You don't get it. Don't talk to her that way. Yeah? What are you going to do about it? Anyways, I'm here and I'm at my tool counter. You get it. It's my tinkering corner. Take off the cover. Turn it on in the back. Computer on. Find a light to go with it. So here's a bin that I pack with the light on the side. There's instructions in there how to set up the photo booth. Here's the light. One little tip about these lights. If it has an 826 hole, you can fit a standard LED bulb in there, no problem. So we'll take this one here, which is a newer S300N. Got here a $4 bulb from Dollarama. Just grab my scissors here. That $4 bulb can replace that $20 bulb inside the mono light for the mono light, not the flash part, but the mono light, the beauty bulb, just like that. Now we'll conk it on the top. Photo booth is booted up. So let's just plug in the sink and the power. Power on. Look at that. She's bright. She's lit up. See that? Okay, so let's uh, give her a little test. Make sure she's working. It looks like it's already from the last event. So we'll just go in. It was Kyle's photo booth at the last event. But this one is not Kyle's event. This one's Brianna's event. So it says it's searching for the camera. So the camera is turned off. So if it says it's searching for the camera, just power the camera off and then back on again. There we go. It registered the camera. So looks like people are touching the bulb there. Looks like this thing has a mind of its own. We'll see how much it keeps doing this. Uh, but we're gonna just go into the screen. Oh, that's gonna be a problem. Create new, Brianna. So we'll just call it, pull up the keyboard. B-R-I-A-N-N-A, -N -N -A, Brianna, launch event. Now it's set up for Brianna's event. However, they have a custom menu screen. They paid $75 for a custom menu screen. So, I mean, I rent these for $2.99, add 75 bucks to that. Uh, plus all the yard games that they rented. I mean, the order is like 600 and some bucks. It was spot on. They emailed us the template. So we'll just grab the template through the email. So we log into the email right on the photo booth and then download it onto the booth and then apply it in the photo booth settings. I'm through Yahoo Mail. It's pretty simple. So we'll pull up the keyboard there again and just go Yahoo, Yahoo. Yahoo Mail, go in. Okay, it's not uh, it's not being weird anymore, so that's a good sign. Well, looky here, we've got some sort of air that says air 20, shooting is not possible. Uh, turn the camera off and uh, try and reinstall the battery. Well, we don't have time to do this, so we're just gonna quickly swap out a camera. So I'm gonna put the photo booth on its face and then we're gonna pull the camera out and just put a new one in. All right, so we need a wrench. Took off the hot shoe mount. And then this one here is a Canon T3i. So with this battery type here, this block battery, we wanna try to find a, an eye camera so that the batteries will match up. So let's go into our Tickle Trunk O cameras here. And there's all our cameras. Right here. 
So here's a T2i right here. It's got a battery attached to it, but we'll just go like that. Take it out. And then let's just put the T3i uh, in there. We'll look at it another day, or maybe it'll work with a different thing. Anyways, my uh, what I do is I always try to swap out hardware because that's the quickest fix. So to figuring what's wrong. I mean cords too, right? So um, we'll just place that battery in there and then quickly turn it on. It's on amateur. It should be on manual. So the M, now it's powered on. Perfect, it doesn't show an error. So let's put the, the uh, hot shoe mount on the top of it. it. Might have been the hot shoe mount that was the problem. but uh... So this is a Canon T2i here. And uh, we'll just grab the screw there and just screw it in here. All right, so no more camera error. We just swapped out the camera really quick. So it's always good to just keep extra cameras, lenses on hand. Go to your used camera store. You'll be able to get these Canon and Nikon uh, lower end models for cheap. And sometimes you'll find some good end models for cheap as well. Um, or Facebook Marketplace, wherever. But I like the camera store because then you can get a receipt and then write it off, right? So Brianna's event looks good here. We need to put her start screen on. So we'll just go into settings. And then we just go to display and navigate down. So let's browse that, it's on the desktop. <coughs> so it should be JDC West. So that must be a PNG file. So we'll just click down to all files and then we can find JD JDC West. Open that, save. And there is their photo booth set up. So let's try a test shot here. Flash isn't working, so let's uh, troubleshoot the flash now. All right, flash isn't working now, so let's just get out of here and see what's going on. So when we connect this, shoot it back in, that's a good sign to see that, but just take that off. These things, these hot shoe mounts, lots of trouble. Our hot shoe mounts. Look at that. One new in the package there, $13.99. So let's just take it out of the package and see if the hot shoe mount is the current problem. I don't think it's going to work. It's not going dink when I plug it in there. So that leads me to believe that there's an error in the hot shoe mount cord. So let's just go straight here, searching for cameras. Nothing. So flash firing was disabled. So let's try and enable flash firing. All right, hopefully that will, uh, that will fix it. Plug it in, moment of truth, it shines. Let's, uh, let's try a photo. There we go. So flash firing was disabled on the second camera. So we nailed out two problems today. So the first problem was there was that error code, which uh, I'll have to figure out in another video. I'll tackle that as soon as I get a chance. Um, and then it was when I plugged in the new camera that flash firing was uh, disabled. So we just had to go into the menu and then we had to just enable flash firing. Um, and then the third thing that we learned today was uh, those monolight strobes, the LED lights. You can um, just put LED lights in them instead of the, the bulbs that they come with if they burn out, right? So awesome. Photo booth is running great. So except now that template looks like garb. So let's fix that up real quick. Someone was playing with the templates and did something weird and deleted all the templates. Awesome. So let's uh, let's do a new template. Template editor is not responding. Photo booth runs kind of slow when you start playing with things. So sometimes you have to do uh, uh, resets, right? A apply a preset layout. Yes, please. Let's see what we've got. No. Um, this one looks great. 
two poses, double strip. Okay, but then we're gonna change the, the numbers of these because these are first photo and second photo and it will duplicate them. We want it to be first photo, second photo, third photo, fourth photo. So we'll go in and we'll call that one photo number two. Click this one, we'll call that one photo number three. And that one we'll call photo number four. Okay, so the template's fixed now. So we'll go to uh, open photo booth. Now, when we take our second photo, then uh, the booth will um, have the new layout there because we just hit the template editor and we fixed it up, right? So let's try it one more time. Photo one. Excellent. <clears throat> and Much better. We'll try and text ourselves one just to make sure that uh, texting functionality is working. Okay, so now all that we want to do is we don't want uh, my ugly mug to be on that corner photo right there uh, when it pops up each time. So we just click into the event name. So just like we did at the start when we were changing it and we're just gonna call it Brianna one because that'll start a new session with no photos on it. So we'll just create new and we'll call it, uh, we'll go to the keyboard and we'll call it Brianna one. B-R-I-A-N-N-A -N -N -A and Uno launch event now it's brianna one we're good to go so the photo booth is functioning correctly we'll shut it down and then we'll uh, take it out to the event That's it for photo booth troubleshooting today. Uh, if you get a chance, go to the description and check out all the stuff that we offer in our Boother Tool Store. Uh, we offer photo booth shells that uh, we CNC and put together and send to you, or we can just send you the CNC flat pieces. We've got photo booth templates, photo booth this, photo booth that, or just stay on this channel to learn the troubleshooting stuff. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Boother Tools out. This is the monolight strobe that works in tandem with the camera. We'll tackle this in another video though.